Hello folks, welcome to the demonstration video number 6 of my eShop project. Today I am going to explain about the design of our home page with the designs of its header and footer. Today's video is going to be kind of a short one compared to the previous ones because there is nothing much to explain about today's design because almost exclusively we are using Bootstrap to design this. So without further ado, let's go to our web browser to see our design. You can see our designs header section here. To the left of the header, as you can see, it says hi then the user's name. Then there's a place to sign out from the user account. Then this thing is here to contact and get support from the eShop crew. If a seller wants to sell some products, he can use this option here. Then this drop down menu shows some options that users can access. As you can see clearly, this is our shopping cart. Now we can check out our footer design. As you can see this is our slogan here. And this is the title of the slogan. As you can see here this is our copyright statement. Then here are some links to our eShop social media accounts. Then here are some ways to contact our eShop group. This is the address of our eShop headquarters. This is our email address, then this is our landline number, then this is our fax number. As usual, we are using icons that was provided by Bootstrap for all of these icons. Let's see the other design elements of our homepage now. This is our eShop logo as you can see. Then this is our search bar. Then this drop down menu is here to select the searching category. This blue button here is our search button. Then here is a place to access the advanced search options. Then here is an image carousel. Images inside this are keep changing according to a set interval. You can go back and forth of these images using these arrows. Then this part shows newly listed and available products on this category. These are some of those products as you can see. Here are images of those products. As you can see some of these are used and some of these are new. Then here is a price of one item. As you can see stocks are available. Then this place shows how many items are left over in the stock. Then here's a buy now button, then here's a add to cart button. This heart icon is here to add the selected product to the wish list. Now let's go to the code of our header part. Now we are here on the header part.php file. As you can see this was mainly done by using divs and bootstrap. As you can see there are many bootstrap class attributes inside this file. Then here you can see these are the calls of our my eShop drop down menu. Let's see the calls of our footer section. Ok now I am here inside footer section.php file. As you can see our footer section also almost completely done by using bootstrap and divs. We are using icons provided by Bootstrap 2 for this section. These are the design codes of our slogan part. Then these are the codes of our copyright statement. Then these are the codes of our social media links section. Then here are the design codes of our contact details section. That's all about the footer design. Now let's go to our home.php file. Now we need to connect our already designed header section and footer section to this home.php file. First I am adding our header part.php file from here. Secondly I am adding our footer section.php file from here. Now let's see the design codes of other elements on our home page. These are the codes of our search bar section. These are the design codes of our image carousel. 
we are using ready made carousel that was provided by booster for our design to save our time then i linked our images to this carousel design like this When the carousel is showing our first image, it says welcome to eShop world's best online shopping experience at your fingertips. When the carousel is showing the third image, it says be free, experience the lowest delivery charges with us. Now let's see the design codes of that section which shows newly listed and available products on our homepage. As you can see here are codes for five products in this section. Then I'm linking images of those five products to our design like this. Okay folks, that's all I have to explain for today. So I'm going to wrap up this part. Stay tuned for the seventh part. See ya.